Hey guys, so I want to talk about um, isolating specific elements. Um, this might be helpful for you if you just want to select a, a group of elements, you know, for example, like a um, electrical room. Um, you can do that pretty easily. So if you come in here, you can just kind of do a selection box. So I'm just going to do a generic one. And then down here, this little button says temporary uh, hide um, or isolate. You can select on that and it's going to give you some options. So you can hide category, isolate category, hot, uh, isolate element, hide element. So for ours, we want to isolate the elements that we've selected. If we do category, it's what it's going to do is it's going to look at the elements that we have and then whatever category they're under, it's going to select every single thing. So these walls, it's going to select every single wall. If we've got a mechanical, any kind of mechanical stuff in here, it's going to select everything in that category. Um, so I'm going to do isolate element and we can see here now we can kind of work with these elements we can start I mean we can move things around we can do pretty much whatever we want with this stuff um, just like any any other um, uh, in any other view pretty much this just gives us a little bit more options to kind of view what we we uh, <clears throat> we want to see so um, hopefully this helps you it's just a quick tip to show you how to isolate stuff um, I'm gonna reset this back to to um, the original one and real quick we can also um, go in here we'll talk about that other setting too so we'll hide our elements um, and we'll say um, apply hide isolate to view so if we actually apply this to the view it's now um, oops it's now set up to where this is exact I mean this is what it looks like and we actually have to come in here and unhide these elements that are hidden in this view so we select it, then we can unhide the elements. And then we'll just uncheck that. So, I mean, that's that's one way, um, or that's kind of how you would work with this tool. Um, there's a variety of different, uh, um, you know, scenarios where you would um, need to apply this. So hopefully this helps you in working with Revit a little bit smoother. But this is just a quick little tip. So uh, thanks a lot for watching.